Hey, what's going on everyone? This is JR here, um, back with another free battle double. Double battle free. Um, I haven't got my 3DS registered yet, but uh, one day I will and I'll start doing the ranking games. But uh, right now I'm just kind of testing out the free, uh, the free market and uh, seeing what I can come up with. Uh, this guy is bringing some pretty good guys. Um, not really happy about it. He has a couple psychic guys, which my team does not do well against that many psychic guys, uh, especially a tanky one like his bottom left. Bottom left. Um, let's see here. So he's probably gonna have his little bunny out there, little bunny. He's got two little bunnies, a water bunny and a normal fighting bunny. Uh, let's see here. I honestly have no idea what to do against this. I'll just go with my Hitmonlee, Gengar, Starmie, and Dragonite. I was going to bring these guys in battle earlier um, against a guy who brought all legends. And uh, yeah, I got a fake out off on his Mew and I put his Grout on to sleep and he just disconnected. I don't know if he was mad because of the set that I had or what's up, but it wasn't that much fun. And trying to make recordings and having people just disconnect on you uh, gets old after a while. If you are out there and you are battling and you are going to lose, if you know that you're going to lose, just stick it out. Just stick it out and lose. Take it. Take it like a champ. Oh, wow. Okay, so we came out with a decent setup. Um, hmm. Not really sure what to do against his Azure Meryl. Uh, I guess I'll fake it out for this turn. Get a little damage on it and try to hypnosis his shiny. Shiny. I like shinies. Shinies are cool. Oh, both of them are shiny. I didn't even know Azumar was a shiny at first. Sorry, I wasn't looking. I was trying to concentrate on my moves. Trying to concentrate on what to do so that way I don't lose today. Um, I have a buddy who, uh, he's he's a tournament host. And uh, he's hosting another Pokemon tournament. VGC style. And it's a local tournament. Nothing too big, but it is registered on the Pokemon.com. Um, because we're actually going to have a legit uh, professor there. And that's pretty cool. I mean, never really had a professor around to ask questions. And it uh, should be kind of fun. Um, I went to the tournament la last month, and there was only about like 20 to 25 people there. It wasn't that crazy, but it was a lot of fun. We got to get to know a lot of people and a lot of different Pokemon sets. Um, so let's see what we got here. I'm gonna try to Sludge Bomb his Azumarill, see if that'll take it out from here. Close combat is Sleep, his Sleeper. Oh, that did pretty good damage. Not, not that bad, not that bad. And I get a Sludge Bomb off, let's see. Oh, it takes him down. I wasn't sure if it had enough in him, but it does. I like it. Oh, wow. He wakes up after one turn of being asleep. That is not cool. I mean, it's cool for him, but it's not cool for me. Ooh. Wow. Everybody he's got is shiny. That's impressive. That is impressive Gladios I'm gonna try to knock off him see what he's got on him and uh, I'll just shadow ball right into the other guy not really sure if he's gonna switch out into somebody or what but um we'll see how this goes hopefully knock off can take out knock out knock off from Hitmonlee see if they can knock out Gladios uh, one shot we're gonna find out as soon as he picks some moves Oh, this guy's been through the Hall of Fame seven times. Oh, I was about to tell me his location. I always hate it when it does that. I get, like, excited about reading the little comments it puts up about the other player. And then, like, it'll go to something about me, and I'm like, oh, what's his, what's his? And then 
that's exactly when it starts. I never get to like, you know, you know? Oh, Latios lives. Mega Latios, that's why. See, if he would have a life orb on him, dead. Dead. And that's not cool. Oh! Oh, you didn't know. I got a special defense up in here. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Wow. That paralyzed off of a thunder just might have saved him the whole game. That's some bull. That is some bull. Well, it definitely saved him from being swept. So that's not cool. I would have loved to have gotten a nice clean sweep off with some Kanto guys. Against all shinies. You gotta love shinies. I love them just because it means somebody put... Oh, wow. A shiny Cresselia. Now that's impressive. That is impressive. I like them because it... I just feel like people had to put, you had to put in some work to get to where you're at now to have these guys. I mean, it, it's cool. I like it. Let's see here. Shadow Ball on the Latios and try to knock off the Cassalia. See if I can get a move off without dying, but he'll probably just kill me. With this nice psychic. Yep, sure did. Sure did. Alright, and I don't really have much to just dominate the Cresselia with, so. But I have three guys, so that's kind of nice. See if uh, we can do something with that. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, he doesn't go for a calm mine here. I'm going to try and bulk up my. Dragonite with a D dance. And uh, let's see here. Try to hypnosis his Cresselia. Keep getting a couple of nices from, from some passerbys. That's pretty cool of you guys. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh man. Let's see here. D dance. I get my Dragonite boost. Oh man. Here we go. Oh, and it lands. And it lands. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Alright. I'm not going to keep D dancing. I'm just going to try and get this over with. I'm going to Dragon Claw right into him and use a Shadow Ball as well. Hopefully, a D dance Dragonite and a regular Gengar will. Uh, be able to take him down with two shots. Nah, he's pretty tanky. Uh, I know he is pretty tanky. That's why I'm doubling up into him. And and there's only one guy left, so of course I have to double up into him. But that's why I de-danced and then attacked instead of just attack normally. Cause look how little a de-dance Dragon Claw from Dragonite does. Oh, and he lives. And he lives a Shadow Ball. He lives. Two stab attacks from two of my most powerful guys. I, wow, I'm glad that he didn't put this guy out first. It would have been a pain in the butt. In the butt. In the butt. And no, I almost clicked three meter on accident, but if, you know, for some reason it would have woken up, it wouldn't have been cool. Oh, and Extreme Speed takes him down. Alright guys, that is the first battle video of the day. Uh, hopefully you guys like that double battle. And uh, I'll try to put up another one in a little while. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching Kanto guys. Kick the crap out of some shinies. And uh, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Monday.